How's it going everyone? Brodo Sam is here and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the state of PS Vita emulator Vita 3K and how it's doing in 2022. Uh, we're going to be comparing its state of January 2022 with its state of August 2021 and uh, we'll also have a tutorial on how to install it and play PlayStation Vita games on PC. So back in August the percentage of playable games uh, on the Vita 3K emulator was 2.63%. Uh, in other words, 13 games were playable from start to finish without a massive uh, break in glitches uh, on those games. So those games were 13, but in January 2022, the percentage of playable games went up to 9.14%, meaning 50 games are playable as of today on the Vita 3K emulator without massive issues. And the number of games that don't boot at all went down from 199 to only 182, uh, as well as the number of games that go beyond uh, booting and go actually go in-game has been increased. So it's a huge leap for this emulator in only five months. And now we're going to be taking a look on how to set up this emulator on PC and how to play PlayStation Vita games on your PC. So first of all, you need to go to uh, the website vita3k.org and download the emulator by clicking the uh, download button, which is on the top, and then click grab from GitHub under the uh, Windows logo if you're using Windows, of course. After that, we need to go and download the uh, PlayStation Vita firmware. We're gonna get the newest firmware, 3.73. Click the download button under the archive.org uh, or just use Mega if you like. Uh, I'm gonna include links in the description, so don't worry about it. Uh, so now we have the uh, two files necessary to set up the emulator. Of course, you need to download games to play them. So now I'm going to create a folder here and then I will extract the uh, contents of the emulator to it. Okay, so simply extract the content to this folder. All right, and then I'll just delete the uh, compressed folder because I don't need it anymore. Now simply double click on the Vita 3K executable and then click close. And now we create a user, so create user, give it a name. You can also change the avatar, but I'm not going to do that now. Click confirm, okay. Click on your user, and now you're in. So now there are a few things to be changed, including this uh, icons view list, which I really don't like. And uh, overall, there's not really much to be changed in the settings, uh, except a few things that I will be showing you. Now allow me to change the uh, icons view by going to configuration, settings, then GUI. All right, and check the box of grid mode. And now we have to increase the uh, delay for start screen, okay? Hit save and then close. Now we have to install the firmware by going to file, install firmware, okay? Now we have to select the uh, uh, firmware that we downloaded Okay, now hit open and uh, let it do its thing. Uh, it's gonna take some time to uh, install the firmware, uh, something like two minutes or something. So yeah, it won't take that long. All right, it's done. Uh, you can also check this little box here to uh, delete the uh, firmware file, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, now we have to close the emulator and uh, open it again. Okay, so close it and then reopen it. Hit close. Okay, so as you can see, the icons have been loaded as well as the background, but it's changing way too fast. So let's change that. Configuration, settings, okay. GUI. And then we increase the uh, uh, delay for backgrounds to the maximum, save. And now the wallpaper will not change uh, too fast. Now we need to load two specific modules. So go to configuration, settings, core, 
and check the auto and manual okay as for the uh, two modules that should be loaded uh, we can find them here okay so the first one is lib pgf the second is lib pvf so lib pgf and lib pvf lib pgf okay All right, here it is, lib pgf, and the one under it, lib pvf, okay? Make sure they're marked in yellow, hit save, and now simply close. Okay, so you're done with the uh, core. Now we need to install again by going to file, install zip vpk, then select file all right and you need to select the uh, uh, game that you downloaded which should be in zip format okay it should be in zip uh, any other format will not work so okay it's zip select it and hit open and uh, it will start uh, installing all right so the game has finished installing click OK and the game appeared here all right now all I have to do is connect a controller uh, you can use keyboard but uh, I'm gonna be connecting the DualShock 4 so uh, it really works fine with this uh, emulator okay so I'm gonna connect the DualShock 4 by opening DS4 Windows and it's connected if we check here you can see that it has been uh, connected now all you have to do is uh, simply click on the uh, game to open it and hit start so yeah this is how it's done and uh, we're now officially done setting up the uh, emulator so all you have to do now is just go to file and uh, install the games from there you can also double click on the emulator uh, to switch to full screen mode that's it for now uh, that was it that's the end of the video and uh, I will see you in future videos take care Angels on this track, look out for jumps.